Welcome back. It's time to set a budget for the holidays. Joining us now here live in studio from Savings Bank of Danbury is branch manager Farley Santos with some tips for the holiday season. Welcome back. It's always wonderful to see Great you here. Great to be back. Hi. On, on Thanks the white for joining couch. us. Thank you. So this is a very important time of year for finances, obviously. A lot of us are scrounging up last minute money to try to buy those gifts. So uh, what's your biggest piece of advice for people? The biggest piece of advice is to save throughout the year. It's yeah. important to, to not get to November and realize you've got to spend thousands of dollars on gifts. Right? Mm -hmm. One way to do that is opening a holiday club. Come see me at 90 Mill Plain Road or any of my colleagues throughout the state or even online. You can open up a holiday club and weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you want to do, put money into the account. That way by October you've got a good chunk of change that you can use for your gifts. That's a smart idea. It's a yeah. great idea. Mm -hmm. Is it important to have a real budget too? You know, don't go into the store and just start Absolutely. grabbing things <laughs> like he'd like this, she'd like this. Like have a real idea and a budget. So you kind of know I was going to go there since Santa was just here. <laughs> yeah, right? Right. Right. You've got to make a list. You've got to check it twice. He, he left the studio though so you don't have to talk <laughs> Okay, well you know, I, I was trying to get some, some brownie points. Okay, all right. But uh, no, absolutely. You know, you've got to make a budget. See who you really need to buy for and stick to that budget. Try not to, to deviate from it. What, what do you do with, from the parents' perspective, Sarah? I mean, you got the kids running around the store. I want this, I want that one. So yeah. how do you prioritize? I mean, that's not easy. It's hard, and that's why I was asking, because I tend to go into stores and just kind of, like, get desperate and start grabbing right. things mm -hmm. and say, there's a week left, i got to do this, right. i got to do that. And I get home and I rethink it, yeah. Yeah. oftentimes. Because you end up going way past what you yeah. actually wanted to spend, right? So and talk so. about in-store versus online. Should you so, be looking for the best deal, you know, wherever you can find it? So there must, there is that pressure of going to the store and you've got things right in front of you, you just pick it in, put it in the car. Um, but going online is important because you're able to, to do it at your ease at home and see what you want to buy. Of course you want to support your local businesses and sometimes they'll just uh, match the prices for, from online yeah. as well. So, but carefully reading reviews, making sure that yeah. the prices are, are what you really want it to be mm -hmm. uh, is important. So going online is good. Are there any other creative ways of uh, saving some money? I, I know you talked about opening an account just for Christmas Correct. or holiday gifts, but Correct. what other ideas do you well, have? Well, again, I mean, it's just a matter of of really putting a portion of maybe your paycheck aside for that. Um, and those holiday clubs, the reason why I brought that up is because they earn a little more interest in the regular savings mm -hmm. account. And before you know it, you've got a good amount of money yeah. in, in your hand. That'll add up. You know, and if you so. have a plan, it right. reduces the stress. For right. There's already, there's a lot of joy and there's a lot of stress Correct. at the holidays. So you kind of want to make those smart decisions so you can have less stress. Right. It is a, it's a season to enjoy with family and friends. It's, uh, uh, you're not supposed to have that much stress. So planning ahead, Making sure that you're all set yeah. is much better than making those those bad decisions sure. last minute. And, and tell us a little bit about what the experience is like working with you guys at Savings Bank of Danbury compared to uh, some other places out there. Well, we've got that local community touch. Mm -hmm. And so uh, someone needs us, we're there right away. Um, you can call us and we're not going to uh, have you on a, uh, a long line waiting. Yeah. Someone will pick That's up the, the phone right away. It is, <laughs> yeah. it is. Yeah. So you don't want to listen to the automated messages and all yeah. that. So, And we tried to, to help customers as best as possible to save for, again, you know, uh, holiday shopping or whatever other means there is throughout the year. Mm. So. Excellent stuff. No procrastination. <laughs> no procrastination. That's the worst because that's yeah. when you end up blowing your budget there. Or the last yeah. minute. You do the last minute. It sounds Oh, like. yeah. No, I'm, I'm no like the day before, I'm like Ryan. walk in, get 10 gift cards. Oh, I, I thought about this one for a few months. <laughs> I know you you like Home Depot or whatever. I know, but it, it's tough. I, I don't know if you can relate to this, but guys, I, I feel like we're just kind of, oh, yeah, he, yeah here we go. don't know what to buy. Right. right. So you, you go with the gift card, I guess. Which you know is, what? Uh, but sometimes Sometimes too, you'll be able to save some money if you actually be creative, make a gift at home, uh, something that maybe has more feeling uh, and, and personal touch, but also something that may save you some money by doing it that way. Not everybody likes to get a gift card. That's so. true. Well, I, I will keep that in mind, Farley. Thank now you so go. much for the great season. advice. No problem. Very yeah. helpful. That's great. All right. So for more smart money tips, you can log on to our website, WTNH.com or SBDanbury.com. And uh, we want to thank you again, Farley. Thanks Love for having, having you here on the show. And uh, tomorrow we are going to have some more fun on CT Style. We're taking you to the Connecticut International Auto Show. There were Ferraris, awesome. muscle cars, all, all your personal favorites. I know you're a car junkie. Oh, yeah. And Lisa Lynn will be here with some tips on how not to gain weight over the holidays. Important stuff. And also our friends from Ripe right here in New Haven have some Thanksgiving ideas for your guests and how to uh, jazz up that table. We had Santa on the show today. We did. Thank know, you, Santa. Awesome. We love you. Yeah. And, and I still have my naughty coin. <laughs> it was a nice coin. Here, no, I, don't need I, I heard you were naughty, but that's just the word on the screen. I don't know. What, what can I say? So we want to thank you guys so much for watching us today here on CT Style. Make sure you check us out online at Ryan Christopher. And Sarah Cody Media. Right, Thanks so much you. for watching. Have a great day.